What's up, JRR Token fans, and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have one hell of a fun animated film lined up for us. It is Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin Jr.'s great 1980 effort. It is The Return of the King, and this one is just good old fashioned harmless fun. Let's just jump right in. Here is The Return of the King. The Return of the King is a fantastically whimsical adaption of J.R.R. Tolkien's beautifully crafted world of Middle-earth. Focusing on the third book of the series, entitled The Return of the King, the production thrives in the same animation style that made Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin Jr.'s The Hobbit adaption so much of an enjoyable romp. Infused with a fantasy-laced visual palette, and bursting with jovial musical numbers, The Return of the King is an enjoyable animated feature which captures the spirit and wonder of Tolkien's remarkable Lord of the Rings bookend. The film follows Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee, as they both continue their journey through Mordor, in order to destroy the ring. Juxtaposed against that is the paralleled story of Gandalf, Aragorn, and company, as they participate in the battle to save Minas Tirith, from the overpowering forces of Sauron. With many miles ahead and plenty of obstacles in their path, can Frodo and Sam complete their quest, or will the evil of Mordor seep to every corner of Middle-earth? Crafted in beautiful style, the animated feature is filled with outstanding voice talent, which helps to aid in bringing the words of Tolkien to stark life. The pivotal performers are Orson Bean as both Frodo Baggins and Bilbo Baggins, John Huston as the iconic wizard Gandalf, Theodore Bickle as the true king of Gondor, Aragorn, Roddy McDowell as the steadfast friend of Frodo, Samwise Gamgee, and brother Theodore as the slippery ring-obsessed miscreant, Gollum. Everyone does a remarkable job in bringing their characters to life, and the efforts to encapsulate the feel and tone of Tolkien are truly commendable. As for the art style of The Return of the King, it's as equally enthralling as the work done on Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin Jr.'s previous J.R.R. Tolkien effort, The Hobbit. From the impressive way in which they craft the characters' designs, to the overall presentation of this fantasy-infused world, there really is a quaint and enchanting approach to all of the visual splendor on screen. Feeling pulled straight from Tolkien's mind, the art direction is bar none mesmerizing, and you're instantly pulled into the awe-inspiring world of The Lord of the Rings. From beginning to end, The Return of the King is an enjoyable fantasy romp, blanketed in a rich and vibrant cinematic world, and filled with outstanding voice work, this animated adaption of the third tale of J.R. Tolkien's masterwork is a highly entertaining journey to partake in. Brimming with catchy musical numbers and laced with phenomenal artistry, this is one fantasy production that honestly captures the spirit of Tolkien's Middle-earth, while presenting a magical adventure film for fans of all ages. If you're a lover of J.R. Tolkien's creations, or a fantasy buff in general, then give this one a shot. It's bound to whisk you off onto untold and heralded adventures. In the end, The Return of the King is pure token greatness. And there you have it, you hairy-footed hobbits. The fun animated film, The Return of the King. Just a great adaption of J.R.R. Tolkien's writings, and just entertaining all around. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, then please like and subscribe. And if you have a chance, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.